How do you share multiple windows at once in Zoom? Hi, this is Dr. Ben Finio here with a quick update about a new Zoom screen sharing feature. Now, I do have some other videos about screen sharing in Zoom. If you are not familiar with how to share your screen at all, you should go watch those first. You can find them linked in the playlist in the description below this video. Now, if you only want to share one program in Zoom, this isn't something you have to worry about. You simply click the share screen button at the bottom and select the program you want to share. For example, this would commonly be something like PowerPoint for people who are teaching online. And again, I cover this in detail in my other videos. However, previously, if you wanted to share two or more programs, you had to choose between two options, neither of which was great. One is to select the program one at a time, click share screen, then when you wanna to switch to the other program, stop screen sharing, click the share screen button again, select the new program, and then go back and forth each time you wanted to switch. That's time consuming, so your other option was to share your entire screen. This will show everything that's on your screen, so if you had both of the programs open, then you could switch back and forth between them easily. The risk there is that it's going to share everything on your screen. So if you leave your email open or you have pop-up notifications for a messaging program like Slack, everybody in the meeting is going to see those as well. So if privacy is a concern and you tend to forget and have lots of things open on your computer, that was not a great option either. Now you have the option to hold down control to select multiple windows to share at once. So let's say I want to do that. I want to show this PowerPoint and Word file at the same time. I'm going to select the PowerPoint, hold down control, select the Word document, then click share. Now I can see both of the programs that I am sharing highlighted by a green box. I also have the floating thumbnails of other people in the Zoom meeting and my Zoom controls up at the top, which collapse so they get out of the way while you're sharing your screen. So let's take a look at what that looks like for participants when somebody else is sharing their screen. So I am now sharing the screen from this laptop where I have a PowerPoint and a Word document open, and I am viewing those shared screens on this desktop, which is what you are viewing on YouTube. And you can see I have the Word document and the PowerPoint open side by side. And if I drag them around and rearrange them on the laptop, they're also going to move around on the shared screen here but they're not going to show anything else in the background on the laptop screen. So for example, I'm going to resize the Word document to make it a little taller. There is a slight lag, but now you see that has gotten taller on the shared screen here. And if I drag them so they overlap, then again, there's a slight lag, but now the Word document is in front of the PowerPoint document here. So again, now I can safely share both of these documents without having to toggle back and forth between them or worry about accidentally showing other things on my desktop. So again, that was a very quick update. If this is the first one of my videos you've seen, I highly recommend checking out the playlist in the description below the video. I have a ton of other videos about teaching and learning online with Zoom. And as always, if you have a question, a comment, or a suggestion for another tutorial, I cannot guarantee I will get to everything or get back to you in a timely manner because we have a two-month-old baby at home now. But please go ahead and leave a comment below this video, and I will do my best to get back to you. Thank you.